Well, with China's NASDAQ style star market now marking about a year in existence, it's time for another change. The star market will now have four ETFs, exchange traded funds, following it. And joining us to talk about that now, Brian Takango of True Wealth Opportunities China, someone who has heavily recommended following the star market. Brian, thanks for joining us. What is the significance of this move? The significance of this is huge because it's the first time that it's going to be the first time that many investors in China are going to be able to participate in this new Nasdaq. That's because people who invest in the star market are required to have at least five hundred thousand RMB or a yuan in investable capital. Now, not a lot of people have that, but by having an ETF track the Star Fifty Index, you will have millions of new Chinese investors be able to partake in this new market. So, Brian, what are some of the companies that are on the Star Fifty Index that are particularly doing well right now? Okay, well, you have some of China's biggest tech companies, including SMIC, which recently do a listed、uh, after. Having shares listed in Hong Kong for the longest time, listed in the star market,、uh, I think a couple of months ago. Major that, semiconductor、uh, manufacturer, major, right? Yeah, it's their largest semiconductor manufacturing company. Apart from that, they have a host of other semiconductor companies out there. They're investing heavily in railways infrastructure, and they want this to be also part of the star market to give some heft to that market itself. So the capital raising begins next Tuesday.、Uh, next week, we're going to see investors and and basically be able to measure their interest in joining these ETFs. What are you expecting to see? You know, there's just such big room for growth. However, it is still a very young market. Remember, remember, China is mostly retail driven, and what China, what Beijing wants is start teach. I wouldn't say teaching, but start. Uh, attracting a more attracting institutional more investment to professionally run ETFs. So this would be probably a, a, a slow you know, trickle at the beginning, but we expect this to, to be a really significant factor in terms of driving the long-term growth in the star market and in China's stock market in general. Because you know the ETFs are going to explode in China just the way they have in the U.S. Talk to me、uh, from the perspective of the risk-averse investor.、Um, obviously, there's a lot of geopolitical tensions around、uh, U.S.-China relations. If you're talking to an American investor right now who wants to maybe dip their toe in the water with Chinese equities, but maybe wants some protection at the same time, would you recommend investing in an ETF at this point in China? Oh, definitely. I mean, ETFs, I guess, are the way to go for any investor who. Wants to stick their toe into the Chinese market without taking on too much risk. I mean, there are tons of ETFs out there right now that have to do with China. But we have you will have to understand, China is going into the new economy faster than any other country in the world, and this is their future. I mean, it's all going to be all about digitization. It's going to be、mm-hmm. about AI,、uh, driverless cars.、Uh, you have e-commerce. So these are what's going to be defining China's economy in the next decade. So if you are going to be investing in ETFs, you want to be invested in more tech-heavy Chinese ETFs because that's really the trend right now. And in terms of who can invest in these ETFs, they are open to foreign investors.、Uh, for now, the the, the China-based ETFs investing in the star market are not open to foreign investors unless you are able to.、Uh, Buy through the Stock Connect in Hong Kong, which allows、okay. you to buy mainland mainland listed stocks. And so, if you have a broker in Hong Kong, you might be able to to get in on this early. Yes.、Uh, okay. Apart from that, I mean, your best bet would be to, to buy some of these major Chinese tech ETFs. You're all over those, that's for sure. Brian Tikango, thanks for joining us. If you want to be connected to Brian's writing, you can click on the screen now. We'll give you a link. Plus. Please do follow us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.